This isn't an African illusion. This isn't Phantasmagoria. We actually have an appreciative and proud audience celebrating a room of young, bright, ebullient, budding mathematicians. We also have a room celebrating a most outstanding subset of our teachers who epitomize mathematics. Getting here wasn't simple, but this is simply fantastic. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I am Ajani Asaru. And I am Roxanne Francis. And we are members of the Jamaica Mathematical Olympiad Committee. On behalf of the Ministry of Education and Youth and the Department of Mathematics, we extend to you our most fervent welcome to this 2023-2024 edition of the Mathematics Teacher of the Year and the Jamaica Mathematical Olympiad Award Ceremony. We would like to acknowledge and, and say thanks a priori to our illuminated panel who are this morning representative of a most elegant backdrop for today's event. We have with us on stage the Minister of State in the Ministry of Education and Youth, the Honorable Marcia Smith, We have the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Youth, Dr. Kassan Troop. We have Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the Uimona Campus, Professor Denzel Williams. We have the Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology, Professor Michael Taylor. Also with us is the Chair of the Mathematical Olympiad Committee and Head of the Department of Mathematics, Dr. Mahesha Narayana. And of course, we have the Vice President of New Fortress Energy, the flagship sponsor of the Jamaican Mathematical Olympiad, Mrs. Veronique Carter. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence of a few other members. We begin with the National Mathematics Coordinator and the Ministry of Education and Youth. Her name, Mrs. Simone Williams, she's somewhere around. We'd also like to acknowledge the Executive Management Team for the Ministry of Education and Youth, Deputy Chief Education Officers, Directors of the Regional Educational Services, Assistant Chief Education Officers, Senior Education Officers, Community Relations Education Officers. We'd also like to acknowledge the presence of other valued sponsors, CIBC First Caribbean International Bank and Caribbean Actuarial Association. We'd also like to acknowledge the Regional Mathematics Coordinators from Regions 1 through 7. We also want to acknowledge the heads of other departments of here, special invited guests, teachers, parents, caregivers, relatives, friends, and most poignantly, the superstars of today's gathering, our erudite awardee. Let's all give a resounding, resonant, and deserved applause to our star teachers and students. Us being here right now, has already made this event a success. With that said, we're going to move the program along with greetings from, and in this order, the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Youth, Dr. Kassan True, the Mona Campus Principal, Professor Denzel Williams, the Ministry of Education's title sponsor, and the Jamaican Mathematical Olympiad title sponsor, Mrs. Um, Ms. Verona Carter. 
in that order. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Are you excited to be here? It's a very, very important day in the Ministry of Education, and more so in Jamaica. We are celebrating mathematics in Jamaica. Can you celebrate with me? Let me greet our State Minister, the Honorable Marsha Smith, who will bring the keynote address this morning. And let me greet Professor Denzel Williams, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of this great university. I'm a graduate, a proud graduate. <laughs> let me greet our sponsor from Jane, Sandra Jones. And of course, we have the Jamaican Olympic Mathematical Olympiad team, who is the title sponsor. Let me greet the members of the team and more so, Professor Taylor. Let me greet all principals and special invited guests in the audience. We are really happy to have you. Let me greet all the technical team from the Ministry of Education. You can stand so they can see you. We have regional directors, we have ACEOs, we have the leadership of the math team. They won't forgive me if I don't identify them. We have our coaches, our specialists. We have our teachers from our schools. And of course, and most importantly, our boys and our girls, our students. Let's celebrate them. They are looking so bright. I, I want to be like them when I grow up. We, this is all for you. So let me just greet all of you on behalf of our minister who's unavoidably absent today, today's cabinet. You know, the business of the country must go on. And so our minister is there, but she's ably represented by our state minister. It's really a joy this morning to celebrate with our professionals in the math field in education and more so to celebrate what the students have done in the Olympiad competition. I have a lot of respect for the competition because my two children participated, Professor. And I can tell you my son got honorable mention when he was nine years old. And it did something for his confidence. Today he's studying right here software engineering. So you did something good for him, and I'm extremely proud. So that's the part of the product. That's the product of what we do. We talk about the outcomes in education. And though we are not proud of everything that we have seen coming out of our education system, we have things to be proud of. And today represents one of those things. We pause to recognize excellence in teaching. And we know how important that is at a time like this in our country. If you're following what's happening in the world, there's a global shortage of teachers. And our teachers are being heavily sought after. You see it in the, in the social media. They are coming for them every day. Last week I saw in the Observer where um, recruiters from London, they're offering $2 million relocation allowance in addition to the package that they are offering our teachers. That really validates the caliber of our teachers. It tells us that we have great leaders in mathematics right here in Jamaica. We have great teachers right here in Jamaica. And I am a teacher, a very proud teacher, and I'm really proud to be a part of this profession. This profession is not only about the income, it's about the outcome. What we do is to give of ourselves so the next generation can go on. That's really simply what we do. We are empowering lives, we are helping others to be their best selves. That's what we do in service. Our job in education is immortal and we send messages in the future. Look at this. These are the future. The future generation, these children, and these are messages we are sending in the future, and we are sending the right message, um, Professor Taylor. These persons are charged and ready. And we want to recognize this because we are in a point in education, we are moving from asking persons to regurgitate. We want our students to be thinkers. We want them to reason. We want them to be analytical, and that's what happens when they are very good at mathematics. So sometimes we talk about how technical it is, 
But the truth is, it's given the foundation for our students to reason, to think. And that's what we need for the kind of Jamaica we want to retire in. And that's what you do every single day, teachers. On the weekend, I had the opportunity of scrolling Facebook. And I saw one of my schools, St. George's College. The leadership of the school and the past students and the church came together to organize a camp for students, both residential and non-residential, for the students to be given an opportunity to get ready for their exams. And I said to myself, this is where the change happens. This is what needs to happen. We have to go above and beyond. And it will take a partnership. No one stakeholder can transform this country or can transform our education system. When I looked at that post from St. George's College, I saw leadership. I saw partnership with private sector, the church, and the home. That's what it's going to take. And I can tell you, for these students who are here being recognized today, it's because of that partnership. Parents coming together, supporting the teachers, teachers coming together, supporting the leadership, and our partners coming together to support our students. Colleagues, that is what it's going to take. And I know the principal is here. Ms. Campbell, I, I'm seeing you. Please raise your hand and stand up. Let me salute you. Because many times people say the ministry needs to do, and they don't understand that the schools are a part of the ministry and the leadership in our school, it matters. It is where the work happens, not at the central ministry. It happens in our schools. And when we see leaders leading from the front, leading the curriculum, leading the implementation of the curriculum, leading the partnership in education, that is what we have to celebrate. And I am very grateful, Madam Principal. I use the opportunity to share it, and I hope that the message will be sent. There's no one person in this thing. It is all of us. Well done. And I've seen the movement of St. George's College, and it is because you understand that the transformation is from within. Well done. Let's clap St. George's College. I want to recognize our teacher leaders this morning. We started out with 60 of you today. We are celebrating regional leadership, and I know we'll have the ultimate champion being announced shortly. I want to thank you for going through the rigor. I know we don't have the best salary in Jamaica, but from time to time, there are innovations like this to recognize the excellence within you and to incentivize our program in Jamaica. This is what this celebration represents, an opportunity to showcase the talents. Can I tell you, they went through a rigor of teaching, seeing the pedagogy at play, about three rounds of teaching so we could come up with the winners. And in addition to that, they had to come up with strategies to support weak students in the area of mathematics. They have to come up with strategy to address the fear that permeates the teaching of mathematics. We do have teachers who try not to teach it, especially at the primary level, because they are not confident in it. They are not competent, and that is something that we are fixing through our specialist teacher model that you will hear more about as we progress throughout this academic year. But colleagues, teachers, thank you very much for subjecting yourself to the rigor, and I want to congratulate you. I don't want to say who the winner is right now, but you will know in due course. But in my book, you are all winners. The fact that you emerged as the top 60, then the top 12, the top five, and now top three. You are all winners in my book. And the Ministry of Education is extremely proud of you, especially now that we are steaming and stemming. You know the acronym that we use. And sometimes people say to me, Dr. Drew, why don't just choose one? Are you stemming or are you steaming? And I've always said it to them. We say STEM STEAM in the Ministry of Education because both acronyms have a place. So when you move into the international space and you want sponsorship, they use STEM. And so we have to align ourselves. But in Jamaica, I've said it, we STEAM because the arts is a big part of who we are. We cannot deny that. When you look at our athletes, our dancers, our musicians, 
We cannot deny who we are and so we cannot allow the international space to dumb down who we are as a people and so we hold on to the acronym STEAM. So you will hear us say STEM STEAM. So that's what we are moving towards as we try to transform teaching and learning. Let me congratulate the University of the West Indies and the Olympia team for what you continue to do, the rigor that you put the students through, the joy that they will be celebrating and feeling today. We are very, very proud of you. I know this is going to be a turning point in your life because as a mother, I experienced my child becoming more confident and more willing to try math as a result of his experience in this competition. It also inspired my daughter to enter into the competition. She didn't do as well, but today they both have ones in math, and I can credit it to this competition. Very, very important. So colleagues, I greet you well. The Ministry of Education is extremely proud of the partnership with the University of the West Indies, and we are looking forward to the outcomes consequent to this experience. God bless you all. Thank you very much, uh, Permanent Secretary, uh, Dr. Troop. It is always so difficult to speak after our Permanent Secretary because she's so comprehensive and inspirational. Thank you, Dr. Troop. Thank you. Let me uh, take this opportunity to recognize uh, our Deputy Minister, Minister Smith. Uh, let me also recognize our sponsors uh, from the Jamaica National and also New Fortress Energy, uh, Ms. Jacqueline Burrell-Clark, and from Jamaica National, Ms. Sandra Jones. Uh, I would also like to recognize our dean and our head of department, and all of those persons who are a part of this very wonderful occasion uh, this morning. Let me also recognize and thank you, teachers and principals and members of the school fraternity, uh, to really participate in this uh, important occasion for us. But most importantly, I would like to really recognize our awardees today. Please give them a round of applause. So uh, my task today is to really boast to you how great our university is. My task is to say that this university is indeed the greatest gift that we have given ourselves as people of this Caribbean. And why do we say that? We say that because today's event is a manifestation of the kinds of output that we desire and we aspire to produce in our region. I once heard somebody said that as teachers, we don't work for the income we work for the outcome. And today is indeed a great day that we're looking at the kinds of outcome that we are seeing in our education system. With very limited resources, as you may know, the University of the West Indies has been able to produce the most remarkable outputs anywhere this side of the hemisphere and to be ranked by Times Higher Education, one of the most prestigious ranking agencies in the world, in the top 3% of global universities as the best university in the world. It is not something that you can take lightly. It is indeed a testament to the hard work of our faculty it is indeed a testament to the partnerships that we have developed over time with our governments, non-governmental sector, our private sector, and all stakeholders to be able to marshal the resources so that our university can deliver the quality outcomes that we are now seeing here today. So I really want to 
appreciate and thank our Dean Taylor and his entire cast in the Faculty of Science and Technology for ensuring that we continue to inspire the next generation of learners and continue with the Math Olympiad as one of the key initiatives that is driving the vision for the faculty as the place to go to for science in this region. As I said, it's not an effortless task. It requires a lot of work. It requires a lot of dedication. It requires a lot of commitment. But today, we are more proud than any time before of the kinds of outcomes that we are seeing. And today's manifestation is very important to us as it tells how great we are as a university in producing the best minds to develop our country and the wider world. Today's event is a testament to UWS contribution to national, regional, and global developments by shaping minds that can think critically to foster solutions to the myriads of problems that we have as a society. I want to also identify that our math Olympiad is not merely a competition to select winners. Our math Olympiad has now become a tool, Dr. McDaniel, that is used to motivate and prepare a level of thinking that is needed to improve the competitiveness of our labor force. The students here today are the ones that are going to lead tomorrow. And therefore, we have to ensure that they are given the best tools possible so that they can make the best decision at the point in time that they have the information. Our Math Olympiad is serving that process today. I want to acknowledge the steadfastness, diligence, and commitment of the team behind the Math Olympiad. They must be celebrated and congratulated, Dean Taylor. I want to thank our students and our teachers from the various schools across Jamaica who have participated in this competition. It takes a lot of time to prepare these students to, to the level that they're at today. And after various rounds and various elimination rounds and stuff, we are now left with some of the best in the business. And we really want to acknowledge and celebrate them today. But importantly, we really want to also thank New Fortress who has been tirelessly supporting this competition for years. We want to say a big thank you to New Fortress because New Fortress can only be great if you have a great university behind you. Because it is this university that is producing the human capital for you to do what you want to do. And therefore, your partnership in supporting the university to continue the development of human capital in this region and the country is something that is unquestionable and we want to celebrate and applaud you today for that. We want to also thank all the other sponsors who are a part of this. But importantly, we really want to give thanks to our university partners who, uh, who have been really diligent in making sure that we continue to have our math Olympiad these days. I want to especially congratulate the awardees. I want to congratulate the teachers. I want to congratulate the entire school system that has really prepared the students for competition. We have watched them over these last few months and they have done it with grace and poise and charm. We want you to see this as I indicated before, not just a competition to select winners, but a competition that is motivating you to always want to learn. We want to see this as part of the learning strategy to continue to give you inspiration and motivation to move forward. So today, as we welcome you to our university campus, as we welcome your parents and well-wishers and supporters who have been behind you all this time in supporting you to this level that you're at, we want to say welcome to the home of greatness where you have a total university experience and we look forward in the next few years to welcome you as matriculants of our university. Thank you very much.
the Honorable Marsha Smith, Minister of State and the Minister of Education and Youth, Dr. Kasson Troop, Permanent Secretary, Professor Denzel Williams, Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal, Mrs. Simone Williams, National Mathematics Coordinator. Mrs. Verna Campbell, Carter, my apologies. Vice President, New Fortress Energy. Our finalist in the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Awards 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. In today's rapidly evolving society, our creativity and the way we think are now being aided and impacted by new technologies such as artificial intelligence. That's a reason we still need people who are good at mathematics, and that's why we, are, we must appreciate the reason we are gathered here today. While we have more resources at our disposal to help us solve equations, math still encourages practicality and critical thinking. Yes, we have calculators on our devices and generative AI tools, but it is the fundamentals of mathematics that have allowed us to, make, to take advantage sorry, of these in the first place. Mathematics skills remain important to societies, and these are the skills that are helping us to achieve economic success and to carry out our everyday tasks, such as preparing food, figuring out distances for travel, and budgeting our salaries. We may not think about it often, but we use mathematics just by engaging in simple things like telling the time. For more than a decade, JN Bank, and by extension, JN Group, has been a proud partner of the annual National Teacher of the Year initiative. Having recognized the many awesome teachers across the country who are making math count, we applaud you teachers across, we are, I'm sorry, we applaud you teachers for your efforts in making math which can be an intimidating subject for many, fun, and we remain committed to providing support to help you improve the outcomes of students in not only Jamaica, but the region. Years after years, this competition proves that there is no deficit of quality teachers in our schools, and it is clear that your work and methods of teaching the various topics are on par or even ahead of your colleagues in other parts of the world. The finalists here this morning are a testament that our teachers remain resilient and committed to making math lessons impactful and relatable for students and their efforts are not being executed in vain. Our congratulations to Mrs. Simone Williams and the team for the, from the Ministry of Health and Youth once again for continuing to work to raise the bar and strengthen mathematics education in Jamaica. As we prepare 
to name the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year for 2024, our wish is that we will find ways to ensure all classrooms benefit from the creativity of these finalists and that their stories will be shared far and wide to inspire and motivate others. The last time I was here, I spoke about the impact teachers, someone like you, have had on my daughter. At six year old, she was way below par, way below expectation. And today, ladies and gentlemen, because of teachers, not just one, but teachers throughout her, or her life, pretty much to where it is now, have impacted tremendously on her. She could not read at age six, but today she has, she had gone to high school, Immaculate Conception High. She did extremely well. She came to this noble institution and she did very well. Now she went to further her studies in Canada. She has taught the, the group she was in and the entire, and all the persons who did that discipline in that university, she came out on top. So she could not have done that without you, somebody like you and you and you. And so today I applaud you. Currently, she is in Africa. Do I hear an amen? So you need to pat yourselves on the shoulder because you are impacting lives in a positive way. So finalist, my heartiest congratulations to all of you, those in the top five and also the regional finalists. Let us all leave here with a commitment to continue working together to emphasize the importance of mathematics in our society and help our students reach for the star. Thank you very much. Good morning. So I think protocol has been um, observed, so I just wanted to say a quick few words on behalf of New Fortress Energy. As you can see, I'm quite tall, so I'm trying to get the mic at my level. Thank you. Um, you know, five years ago, Dr. Taylor um, reached out to me about this competition. Thank you. And I have never had the privilege of joining you here on this very special occasion. And it really filled my heart that I woke up at three o'clock this morning, catch the JetBlue flight from Fort Lauderdale and arrive here at 5.30, at um, 6.30. <laughs> and so I surprised everybody and Dr. Taylor said, you weren't supposed to be here. I said, I surprise you. And five years ago, he was so passionate about the vision for this competition. And being a, a Jamaican at New Fortress Energy with such a dominant um, private institution that came to Jamaica as a foreign direct investor, it really filled my heart to go back and, and tell my my um, executive suite that we have to do this. And so to be here this morning to see all the parents, teachers, students, government, principal, and everybody turn out just to cheer you students on. It's beautiful. And so you should give, your, you should give yourself a round of applause because this is very special. I wanted to say it is an absolute pleasure to be here. This is what it means to have a private, a public and private sector partnership. 
for NFE to be the, the main sponsor for this event. It's our pleasure. And when we do this, it's really about the next generation and nation building. We have invested, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars into scholarships. Um, we talk about STEM. It's so critical for our country. And to see all of these young boys and girls, of course, studied hard, focus, and is here to receive their prize, or just simply to be acknowledged but for being part of what is taking place today. It's just beautiful. So congratulations to all of you. Um, you know, there is a famous saying um, that to not know math is really a severe li um, limitation to understand in the world. And I can say that from coming out of the country and having, I thought, the best math teacher I've ever had in high school, Mrs. Holmes. And she brought math to a level where we all just loved it in high school. And she always imparted on us that math is for problem solving and it's critical thinking and it makes you think very quickly on your feet. And I've, I've always kept th that very close to home because that's really what it is. I remember the little, the, the exercise books and at the back of it you would have the times table and we would all have to recite the times table very, very quickly for her. And it was just magnificent because if you mess up then you have to go back and start all over again. So this is really a very special discipline um, it is everything that you need, the core, the fundamental part of being out there in the business world. Um, I have traveled from the finance industry through Jamaica Money Market with Joan Duncan when she was just starting Money Market. Then I switched over to serve my country in tourism when Ritz Carlton came to Jamaica. That led me abroad and then from there I went on to New Fortress Energy and every Every sector I have been into, math is a fundamental part of it. So as somebody who have been part, have a career that has stretched across four sectors, math come, came into every part of it. And in traveling the world, it also for some, believe it or not, it gives you poise. You have poise and grace because when you're thinking, you want to be astute and you want to be at your best and so you're very focused and you're trying to think what is the next thing to say before you're caught off guard. So it also gives you this great sense of self which we all need in today's society especially since we live in a global village. So again congratulations to all of you. I just want to give you a little synopsis of what we do in case you live here today it could also benefit you. So at UWE, we actually have our annual tertiary engineering STEM scholarship, which are um, given at UWE, CMU, and UTEC. So far, we have done over 300. These are worth $10,000 US per term. And so this is something, boys and girls, as you move through your education, you may want to look at this if this is an option for you. Um, we also have what we call internship programs to, because we brought New Fortress Energy brought liquefied natural gas to Jamaica and so it is a big part of our energy mix through the Ministry of um, Energy and so this is something that we try to create a sector where the nation can benefit from employment. It's relatively new in Jamaica but has existed for decades, but this came to Jamaica in 2016, and we have employed a ton of um, students through the internship program. We have also, through our scholarship, have seen doctors, lawyers, engineering, engineers, and you know, you name it, have came through the system through our scholarship. So I just want to put that out there as well. And to say, reach for the star. I mean, there is nothing that we Jamaicans cannot do. Um, when my boss, Wes Edens, came to Jamaica and he went back to his board in New York, he said Jamaica is where he saw the largest human capital of well-educated workforce that is available. 
And so this is a testament to the education system that we have here. So stand tall, shoulders back, and move forward and have your critical thinking at your forefront. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Cassandra Troop, Professor Denzel Williams, Mrs. Sandra Jones, and Miss Verona Carter for your participation so far and your greetings. Shall we give them another round of applause? So we've reached a point in our program where we will hear the keynote address from our guest speaker, the Honorable Marsha Smith, and I'll say a few things about her uh, so you understand her a little better as she comes. So the Honorable Marsha Smith, Member of Parliament, was appointed State Minister in the Ministry of Education and Youth on May 22, 2023. She was educated at Brownstone Primary School, Westwood High School, which happens to be my alma mater. Yes, Brownstone Community College, the University of the West Indies, and Norman Manley Law School. She was admitted to practice law in 1997. Her areas of, of practice include general legal advice, probate, conveyancing, and civil litigation. She was elected to represent the constituency of North East St. Anne, Jamaica in September 2020. Her interests include music, history, world affairs, calligraphy, and video gaming. Pretty interesting. She's a member of the Jamaican Bar Association, Northern Law Society of Jamaica, Brownstone Methodist Church, and Voices of Dawn Choir. Providence Methodist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the Honorable Marsha Smith as she delivers the keynote address. I hear a hushed silence. Let me break it. Good morning. Again, good morning. I don't know about you, but I was very excited to be afforded the opportunity to step in the shoes of the Honorable Fable Williams for today's proceedings. I remember when I was at primary school and all the way through Westwood that mathematics was one of my favorite subjects. And I'm happy to see that the interest is still being maintained throughout the different generations of students in Jamaica and teachers make our big part in sustaining the interest in mathematics. I remember I had a mathematics teacher who gave you points for the cleanliness of your maths presentation. So even if you made an error in your final um, answer, if you set out your answer in a very neat and precise way, you would have got some points for that. And I always remember that particular maths teacher with a lot of affection. Before I go into the body of my address, permit me, having broken the silence, to greet you more particularly. To our Masters of Ceremony, Ms. Roxanne Francis and Mr. Ajani Asuro, thank you so much for shepherding us through this morning's very short program as we put the highlight on mathematics and the teachers of mathematics. Dr. Kassan Troop, permanent secretary, but secretly the biggest cheerleader in the Ministry of Education and Youth. And those among us from that ministry can attest to that. Professor Denzel Williams, Pro Vice Chancellor, and principal of the University of the West Indies Mona campus, always pushing forward the importance of getting people within our country and the region to consider putting their time as tertiary students right here on the Mona campus. 
I also had the pleasure of being here for one year when I was doing my LLB. Professor Michael Taylor, Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology, the University of the West Indies, and Dr. Mashisha Naranha, head of the mathematics department, the University of the West Indies. Hope I didn't make too many mistakes with your name. Mrs. Simone Williams, national mathematics coordinator in the Ministry of Education and Youth. I know coming up to today, you had a lot of things to put in place and you're looking splendid, yes. The executive team at the Ministry of Education and Youth, our deputy chief education officers, directors of the regional educational services, assistant chief education officers, senior education officers, community relations education officers, I greet you well. You are the soldiers on the battlefield ensuring that we get the work done. And I just want to acknowledge you here in this space. Our title sponsors, education is not something that is the sole responsibility of government. It is a responsibility of the entire country. And so PPP is something that is integral to how we do education. It is as simple as a PTA at a primary school doing a fundraiser to purchase something for the staff room or for a classroom. And it goes all the way up to our large corporate donors and sponsors like the New Fortress Energy Foundation. And we would have heard from Ms. Verona Carter, VP, just how exciting it is for you to be engaged in mathematics and the career possibilities at companies such as the one that she's a part of and the opportunities for internship and scholarships. Please check them out when you have some time and take the word back to your school communities, especially for our secondary level students. And Miss Sandra Jones, it was so important, uh, Mrs. Jones, to hear you speak of your own journey in mathematics with your own daughter, even as you share what Jamaica National Group has been doing to engage with this particular event to ensure that funding is available. And there are other sponsors who have partnered, the CIBC First Caribbean International Bank and the Caribbean Actural Association our regional mathematics coordinators for our seven regions, the cluster-based mathematics specialists and mathematics coaches, the staff members of the University of the West Indies Faculty of Science and Technology, our principals and teachers and parents and students, and the media so important to covering today's event and bringing awareness to a wider cross-section of persons but most importantly, our awardees. So lovely to be with you this morning. The Ministry of Education and Youth considers this event to be one of the highlights of our annual calendar, and so we are very happy to be here. It is a great opportunity to recognize our hardworking teachers in particular those who specialize in the teaching of mathematics. We can never overstate the value of mathematics in daily lives. It contributes to the advancement of different fields of knowledge and is vital for the prosperity of our society. And for that reason, it occupies a central place in the school curriculum in most countries because of its very importance. There have been many developments in technology and changes in the way we do business, and increasingly more and more people are beginning to appreciate the importance of being mathematically literate. The fact is, mathematics is important as a subject in itself because it provides the foundation for further study 
in engineering, psychology, the general sciences, and social sciences. Some people have also noted that mathematics, and in particular statistics, is important even for non-science-based subjects at the tertiary level. Yet, despite mathematics being an important subject, poor and underperformance has been reported in many countries, including our own. A report, Mathematics Education in Latin America and the Caribbean, published by the International Council for Science in 2010, noted that all over the world there is growing concern about mathematics and science education. From the evidence gathered during the last years, it is clear that we are not doing this task properly. And that means a big problem for all Latin American and Caribbean countries. More recently, the 2022 report from the Program for International Student Assessment, PISA, showed quite a disparity within and among countries of relative equal state of economic and social development, raising questions about allocation of resources, quality, teaching, quality teacher training, and even relevance of curriculum to contemporary needs and reality. We must all therefore recognize that for adults to function reasonably well in an increasingly complex world, they require a basic level of numeracy. Numeracy or mathematical knowledge is necessary in a range of life skills, such as personal finance and the handling of data. To help in this regard, the Ministry of Education and Youth Mathematics Unit has been working through a series of workshops and seminars to change the experiences that students have with the subject and to make it more appealing. Today, we will honor an outstanding teacher of mathematics and applaud the significant work being done by others. We will also award students who have demonstrated their competencies as they participated in the three rounds of the Mathematical Olympiad. Yet we must also acknowledge that there is an urgency to be addressed nationally. First, we have to get it right at the foundation levels. Many students shy away from applying themselves to mathematics because of bad early experiences. Perhaps it was a stern-faced teacher who intimidated them when they did not get the arithmetic right at the first go. Who, who knows? Perhaps they were not introduced to concepts to which they relate, and they progressed through the system with increasing levels of difficulty and challenge. They found no fun doing the subject. We have to change these perspectives. We have to bring a sense of excitement, fun, and practical application to the subject, even as we try to move our students to think critically and analytically. Yes, we have to make more people see that mathematics counts and mathematics rocks. Let me get a cheer from the students. Mathematics rocks? Yeah, it does. Let, let, let me share a personal story. A couple years ago, when I got a little bit saturated with my work as an attorney, I needed something to de-stress and to clear my mind to attack my problems at work in terms of my legal problems. And I found my old maths book and I took it out and I started practicing the maths that I'd learned when I was in high school. And I must tell you, it was an experience of getting calmer and calmer and seeing my situation clearer and clearer. And I was energized to go back and tackle the task 
at hand. So even when you have ceased being a part of a formal school setting, there is still a place for maths being fun. In the August 2023 analysis of students' performance in the CSEC mathematics, the Director of Operations at the Caribbean Examinations Council, Dr. Nicole Manning, noted that 43% of candidates got acceptable grades in mathematics, up from 37% in 2022. While this is an improvement in mathematics, the examining body thought it would have been more given that the paper was a standard one. Within the context of our local and regional underperformance in the subject, and the push towards increasing the focus on science, technology, engineering, arts, mathematics, STEAM education for short, the Ministry of Education and Youth has ramped up its efforts to attract and retain more teachers of mathematics. We have also been working with the teacher training colleges to revamp their program offerings with more opportunities for specialist teachers at the primary level. Mathematics is too important a subject to be treated casually or with indifference. I encourage you to help all of your family and acquaintances to see the necessity of paying greater attention to mathematics and its importance to their daily lives. Let me extend heartiest congratulations once again to this year's Mathematics Teacher of the Year and to the students who have performed with excellence through the three rounds of this year's Mathematical Olympiad and will emerge as winner. Well done to all of you. And as I close my presentation this morning, I'm going to share with you a quotation that I came across this year when I was looking at the philosophy of mathematics. And it goes, math teaches us that there is every reason to believe that every problem has a solution. Thank you. Thank you, a resounding applause for the Minister of State for giving the keynote address. Thank you very much. And we want to express our appreciation to the Minister. So we'd like to invite Mrs. Simone Williams to give her a token on our behalf, just to express our appreciation. It's photo time. All right, pose for the cameras. Thank you, Minister. And thank you, Mrs. Williams. So, Mathematics is indeed the most precise and concise way of expressing an idea. And mathematics is also fun. You know, it teaches you life and death situations. For example, if you're very cold, all you have to do is walk over to a corner where it's always 90 degrees. So, think about that one. You should be laughing, right? Come on. It's a good joke. All right, so we'd like to inform you that we have professional photographers, as you can see, who will capture this unforgettable moment on your behalf. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a segment we've all been waiting for. It's now payment time for a job valiantly done. So awardees, get yourselves ready. We're going to ask Mrs. Dana Facey to... Come forward, she's Assistant Chief Education Officer for Schools Performance Monitoring and Evaluation, and she will direct the teacher's awards.
Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing? Good. Students, are you making it? I hope you are not too tired. But we're going to get into a very exciting part of our presentation today, which is the presentation of our awards to our teachers. Can we give them all a round of applause, please? Our teachers are indeed a big deal. So we want to start by recognizing those teachers who we consider to be regional finalists. Now, these finalists would have participated in a demonstration lesson and they would have been observed by a team of persons and scored. And these candidates would have received the top scores in their region. We classify regions based on parishes. So I'm going to ask the different regional directors who are here these are the team members from the ministry who lead these particular regions to join me here so we can present to the finalists some very special awards. We're going to start in region one and two, and I'm going to invite Mrs. Claudette Henry Harris. She is regional director acting in region two. Region two covers the parishes of St. Thomas, St. Mary, and Portland to join me up here for the presentation of the regional awards to those candidates who would have amassed top scores in their demonstration lessons from these regions. I'm going to ask Mrs. Henry Harris to join me on this side as we get ready to announce our regional winners. Yeah, I'm not hearing anybody. Yes. So we're going to start first with Region 1, and these teachers are from Kingston and St. Andrew. We have Mrs. Shanna Williams-Miller. She's from St. George's College. Wonderful. Excellent. And following Mrs. Williams Miller is Mrs. Maria Samuels Campbell. She's from Mona Heights Primary. Congratulations to you from Region 1. And from Region 2, I would have shared those parishes with you already. We have one winner, Mrs. Tamara Elaine Howard Hemmings. She's from Region 2, in Retreat, Primary, and Junior High. Congratulations to you. Please give them a round of applause for me. Thank you so much. I'm going to invite at this time Dr. Michelle Pinnock. She's the Regional Director from Region 4. And she will be making a presentation to those candidates from Region 3 and from Region 4. Welcome, Dr. Pinnock. And so, from Region 3, we have, from Fort George Primary and Infant, Nivart Walker. Congratulations, Nivart. Excellent teaching, excellent job. From Region 4, we have three candidates traveled all the way from the West this morning to be presented by their regional director. From Green Pond Primary, we have Kamika Ingram. Well done, Lady Ingram. Green Pond, the Green Pond Primary. Fabulous. We also have from Region 4, Mrs. Novlet Archer Gardner. She's from Irwin Primary in St. James. Wonderful job. And our final candidate from Region 4 is from Savannah Lamar Inclusive Academy. And she is Anicia Walker. Thank 
Thank you so very much. Wonderful. Thank you to Dr. Pinnock for the presentation. And I'm going to ask Mrs. Fiona Morris Webb. She is from Region 6, and that's the parish of St. Catherine, to make the presentation at this time to Regions 5 and 6. 5, 6, and 7. I apologize. Come, Mrs. Morris Webb. She's Senior Education Officer responsible for secondary supervision in our regional office in St. Catherine. And our first candidate who is receiving an award from Mrs. Morris Webb this morning is from Region 5. Anybody can guess which parish that is? Parishes? They're all guessing. Manchester, very good. And St. Elizabeth, that is correct. Absolutely. And the candidate for presentation this morning is Andrea Stevenson. She's from Christiana Moravian Primary. Congratulations to you, Lady Andrea, on a job well done. Excellent. From Region 6 this morning, that's St. Catherine, we have from Mount Nebo Primary. Now that's extraordinary colleagues, if you know where Mount Nebo is. Quite a remote institution. From Mount Nebo Primary, we have Yannika Pitt. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. And she has her, she has her, her jacket representing her environment. Fabulous. From Region 7 as well, we have two candidates who would have been outstanding in their performance in this competition. We have from Osborne Store Primary, Alphanet Morgan, and we also have from Spalding Primary, Nardia Rochester. Now, colleagues, I know you can give them a bigger round of applause than that. Yes, I know it's been a long morning, but we are celebrating our teachers and students. You can be an engineer and a teacher. You can be a doctor and a teacher. We need excellent mathematicians in teaching. So think about it and join us in a wonderful profession as you decide your career path. It's now time to cream the crop some more and to present our regional winners, right? So we had national, regional finalists, and now it's time to present to our regional winners. Thank you, Mrs. Morris Webb, for your presentation. I'm going to invite the National Mathematics Coordinator, Mrs. Simone Williams, to join me on stage very quickly. And from the finalists, we have some winners regionally who we'd like to acknowledge. And Mrs. Williams is going to be making those presentations to each of the winners. So from the regional finalists, we have some regional winners. In region one, from the list I read earlier, the winner for region one is Ms. Shanna Williams Miller from St. George's College. Fantastic. Lady Margaret, you have some good teachers down there. Excellent, in Region 1. Awesome. From Region 2, the, fi the finalist is also the winner, Tamara Elaine Howard Hemmings. Region 2, regional winner, National Mathematics Teacher of the Year competition. Region 3. From the candidates listed here, the winner is Nivart Walker. She's from Fort George Primary and Infants. Wonderful. From Region 4, the top of the three is Kamika Ingram from Green Pond Primary. Wonderful, excellent job. Congratulations to you. From Region 5, the only finalist is also the winner, 
We have Andrea Stevenson from Christiana Moravian Primary. Congratulations. Excellent work. Our teachers are a big deal, aren't they? Yeah, man. Wonderful. Region 6. From the list of candidates, finalists, we have the winner from Mount Nebo Primary, Yannika Pitt. Well done. She says thank you. It is a big deal. Wonderful job. And from Region 7, we have from Spalding Primary, Nardia Rochester. Yes. Excellent. So I've given you the regional finalists. I've given you the regional winners. Now we are at the national finalists. And I'm going to ask our permanent secretary to make the presentation to these winners. P.S., can you join us here in the center? So from the regional winners, they had to do another lesson again and they were scored again, along with a presentation to a panel. And from that activity, we were able to come up with our national finalists. They'll be receiving trophies and certificates, and I also have some special prizes, which I will also announce. So our national finalists, can we guess who they are? They're standing right there. Region 1, Shanna Williams-Minna from St. George's College. She's back again, the lady in black and white. Congratulations to you. Excellent work. She was a regional finalist, a regional winner, and she is the national finalist for the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Award. Region 4, we have Kamika Ingram from... Green Pond Primary. The lady in pink is back again. Congratulations to you. We also have two additional finalists from Region 4. Region 4. We have Novlet Archer Gardner. So she was a regional finalist and is back as a national finalist. Congratulations. She's from Irwin Primary. Awesome work. And our final, final finalist from Region 4 is Anicia Walker. She's from Savannah Lamar Inclusive Academy. Wow, Region 4, Massive and Crew is out this morning. Wonderful. The competition is getting hotter. I like it. Excellent. And a very familiar face as well from our regional finalists and regional winners is the lady from Region 6, Yannika Pitt. She's back again. Receiving from the permanent secretary her trophy and certificate again. Wonderful job. Awesome teachers deserve awesome recognition. We have some special prizes, and I'm going to ask Mr. Seymour Hamilton, he's education officer in the core curriculum unit, to join me right where PS was. And we want to recognize, for the first time in the competition, two very special ladies. I want you to guess which region they're from. You think you can guess? Is it one? Is it six? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Is it seven? I'm going to tell you, the two ladies are from Region 4. The two ladies are from Region 4. We have, for most effective use of differentiated instruction, you know who it is? Can you guess it? Anicia Walker from Region 4. Wow. Region 4. And her cash prize today, in addition to her, 
Her trophy is a cash prize from the Jamaica National Bank in the amount of $10,000. Wow. So she left Region 4 and she's going back filled with things this afternoon, this morning, sorry. Great. Thank you so much to Jamaica National Bank for the continued support and also for the cash prize being presented to Miss Walker this morning. Our teachers are a big deal. Also from Region 4, the lady in the pink jacket, Kamika Ingram, is our sectional prize winner from Region 4, and she comes to us receiving the prize for most conceptually driven lesson. Wow, 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 wow. And her cash prize is, this morning, $10,000 from Jamaica National Bank. I hope um, Jane may have squeezed in a little more cash in the envelope. I'm hoping so too, but if not, congratulations just as well to our two special prizes. So ladies and gentlemen, it's time to announce the most important part of our ceremony today. And these are the top three candidates from out of 60 nominees, 57 semi-finalists, three national winners. And I'm going to ask our Minister of State and our representative from Jamaica National Bank to make their way to the center of the podium to make the presentation to the top three candidates. So I'm not going to start with the first one, will I? No. I'm going to help you. Okay, just minister for the... Okay, thank you for that clarification. I misunderstood. So minister will start. And then for the winner, for the first place, for the champion of our finalist, I will ask our company representative, a sponsor, to join Minister. I apologize. All right. So in our third position, from one of our regions, Receiving a cash prize in the amount of $30,000. And a trophy is a lady from Region 4. Miss Anicia Walker. Third place winner in the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year competition 2024. She's from Savannah Lamar Inclusive Academy. Now remember that our winner can come from any region among the finalists. They don't know who they are. And so we congratulate our first runner-up, second runner-up. Our third place winner, Anicia Walker. Second place is from a region. It's a lady as well, receiving a cash prize in the amount of $50,000 from Jamaica National Bank. She's from a remote institution in Region 6, Yannicka Pitt. Yes, second place, Mount Nebo Primary, Yannika Pitts. Wonderful. Congratulations to you. Well done. Awesome job. Okay, let's get in the photograph settled. Our teachers are a big deal. So I'm going to ask you to give me a little drum roll in your laps, please, for the winner of the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Awards 2024, receiving a cash prize of $100,000, 
from Jamaica National Bank. It's a lady. It's a lady from a region. A region far away. Is it region five? Is it region three? What about region one? Ladies and gentlemen, the lady is from region four. She's from region four. From Green Pond Primary School, Kamika Ingram. The winner of the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Award, 2024. The lady in pink, the lady of the hour, the lady of the moment. She has done it, she has done it, she has done it, she has done it. The winner of the National Mathematics Teacher of the Year Awards, Region 4, Kamika Ingram. Congratulations. Congratulations. All primary schools at the top this year, colleagues. That's where we're fixing it. We're getting it right. In the, in the region, remind me of your tagline, Dr. Pinnock, for Region 4. Innovators, don't it? Yes. Region 4, Kamika Ingram, Green Pond Primary School. And our presentation is being made by our state minister, as well as our representative from JN Bank. Wonderful. Not a meal deal, but a big deal. Congratulations to all of our teachers. Can we give them a round of applause, please? Every one of them have demonstrated excellence in mathematics teaching, but there can only be one winner this morning. And the winner is Kamika Ingram. Now, I know the trophy is very heavy, but I'm going to allow her to just put it down and collect herself so that she can get ready to give us her response. So it's my pleasure being here with you. Do enjoy the rest of your day. To God be the glory, great things he has done. I left my program. Minister of State, the Honorable Marsha Smith, Permanent Secretary, Dr. Kesson Troop, National Regional Coordinator, National Math Coordinator, Regional Math Coordinators, Specialists, Coaches, Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues, and fellow math enthusiasts, good morning. As I stand here before you at the conclusion of this incredible event, I am filled with gratitude and humility. Being named National Math Teacher of the Year is just not an individual honor, but a testament to the power of education and the positive impact 
that passionate educators can use to ignite an appetite for mathematics within the lives of their students. Mathematics is more than just numbers and formulas. It is a gateway to critical thinking, problem solving, and innovation. As educators, we have the privilege and responsibility to cultivate these skills in the next generation, empowering them to tackle the challenges of tomorrow with confidence and ingenuity. As I reflect on this journey, I am grateful for the support of my principal, colleagues, math coaches, mentors, family, and the countless number of students who have inspired me to continually strive for excellence. Together, we have created a community where learning flourishes, curiosity thrives, and achievements abound to the pursuits of knowledge and the empowerment of future generations. To my fellow finalists, I urge you to continue embracing innovation, nurturing curiosity, and fostering a love for mathematics in your classrooms. Your work is vital in shaping the minds and hearts of our students, preparing them to embrace the challenges of the 21st century. May I remind you that behind every mathematical concept, there is a story waiting to be discovered, a problem waiting to be solved, and a student waiting to be inspired. Let us continue to champion the importance of mathematics education and develop the potential of every student. With dedication, perseverance, and a love for learning, we can shape a future where mathematics opens door to endless possibilities and continue to match up the thing, add the excitement, knowing that math rocks. I thank you. Thank you, Ms. Tamika Ingram, and congratulations on winning Math Teacher of the Year. Let's hear it from Ms. Ingram, everyone. Also, congratulations to all our awardees. Congratulations, congratulations. Let's hear it for all our teacher awardees, everyone. I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of our campus registrar, Dr. Donovan Stanberry, who joined us, as well as the assistant campus registrar, Mr. Jonathan Archie. Welcome to you, gentlemen. And thank you, uh, Mrs. Facey, for ably guiding us through the teacher awards. All right. So the teachers have had their well-deserved moments, and now it's time for our teachers, rather our students, to have their glory. If you follow along in your programs, you will realize that the first set of categories, or the first category of awardees, is that of merit awards. This means that of the thousands of competitors we had, these students ranked in the top 20. We now ask, kindly ask Mrs. Simone Williams to join us on stage as she will assist us in handing these out. I know Ms. Williams has been here for some time. And we'll begin with grade four. All right, we'll just take a few moments for our students to get ready. Thank you. 
Again, these students would have ranked in the top 20 of the thousands of competitors we have each year. And we'll begin with grade four. From Mineral Heights Primary, we have Shante Edwards. From Montego Bay Christian Academy, we have Cameron Davis. We also ask students that you remain on stage until your entire category is called. You'll also take a group photo at the end. And our awardees are receiving medals and a beautiful certificate. From Duncan's All Age, we have Aiden Brammer. Our next awardee is Ariana Marie Daniels, and she's from Praise Tabernacle Christian Academy. From Montego Bay Christian Academy, we have Zenea Drummond. Sure. Sure. Our next award is Alexander Franklin, and he's from Mona Prep. From Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Dimitri Smith. Also from Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Luke Williams. From Creative Kids, we have Orlando Zink. And also from Creative Kids, we have Jaden Chow. Those are our grade four awardees for the merit category. As soon as Mr. Cho gets his award, I'll ask all our grade four awardees to assemble in the center of the stage and we'll have a quick group photo. Grade fivers, get ready. Let's hear it for our grade four recipients. Right, so at this time, give them a hand, please. For Merit Awards for Grade 5, we would like to invite Dr. Donovan Stanberry, a campus registrar, to assist us in handing out these medals. 
Right, so first we have from the Hosanna Preparatory School, Derwin Hamill. We have from the Hillel Academy School, Raul Batia. All right, from the Angels Primary School, Demarcus Bennett. Really beautiful medals. And from the Alpha Primary School, we have Ania Thompson. Lots of medals, Olympics is in the air. <laughs> From Reach Academy, we have Sarita Desai. And from the Alpha Primary School, we have Xavier Parchment. And receiving his merit award from the Mona Preparatory School, we have Raheem Gale. Our future mathematicians, well, our current juniors, but for the future. From Kensington Primary School, we have Jamari Thompson. And from the Creative Kids Learning Academy, we have Emilia Rose Leak. And from the Creative Kids Learning Academy, we have Carissa Chin. We're just going to, before, take a little divergence. We're going to invite the teachers, the top three teachers, to return to the stage for a group photo, because we did not get a group photo. So we're going to ask the top three teachers while we hold on for grade six for just a second. So the teachers, you can get yourselves ready to follow this group, grade five group photo. Mr. Engineer, our microphone is not functioning properly. Thank you.
All right, our teachers can just come for their group photo. And our two regional directors, we're asking you to also come on the stage. Our two regional directors. And our CEO, of course, Chief Executive Officer as well. We, ha we need everyone under the umbrella. Mic check. Oh. Photos are indeed important. We say if we don't have a photo, then it didn't happen. So we're going to be moving on to our merit awardees from grade six. Before I do so, I'd like to thank Dr. Donovan Stanbury. And we have a little token for you, sir. So perhaps you'd like to join us on stage. Just to say thanks for your efforts so far. As we proceed, I'd like to invite now Mr. Jonathan Archie, who is our Deputy Campus Registrar, and he will award those Grade 6 awardees in the category of Merit Awards. And our Grade 6 awardees will also be receiving medals. And we'll begin. From George Headley Primary School, we have Aziel Adiman. Following him from Morris Nip Preparatory is Nathan Bear. From the Cornell the Avenue Primary, we have Akila Daly. From Mona Preparatory, Zayden Peart. From Hillel Academy, we have Victoria Ong. <laughs> Following her is Kirani Porter from Kensington Primary. Up next, we have Zahil, Zahil Morrison, and he's from Mannings Hill Primary. From Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Brandon Shore. Following Brandon is Perez Pearson, and he's from St. John's Primary School. From Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Zaire Bishop. Go 
ahead, Zaire. Go ahead. From Mona Prep, we have Jordan Campbell. Let's give it up for Jordan. And from Savlamar Primary, we have Javier Edwards. These exams that these students do, they are not an easy feat. So let's hear it for all our students. And that concludes the list for grade six merit awardees. Let's all assemble for a group photo. All right, so we move on to our Job well done. All right, we'd like to thank Mr. Jonathan Archie, and we do have a token of appreciation for his physical efforts. <laughs> and in the interim, we want to invite Ms. Varsha Pandey, Board Secretary from the Caribbean Actuarial Association, who will assist us in handing out these mini trophies for our top 10 to top four placings. The essence of mathematics is not to make simple things complicated, but to make complicated things simple. And so, from grade four, in Position number 10 from the American International School in Kingston, we have Rooney Peffer. In ninth place, from the Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Kristen Martin. From the Mona Preparatory School in eighth place, we have James Seaton. And from the Emmanuel Christian Academy, we have Daniel Royce in seventh position. And also hailing from the Emmanuel Christian Academy in sixth position, we have Naya Wood.
In fifth place, from Bright Beginnings, we have Andrew Blair. And in fourth place, from the Hillel Academy, we have Austin Ziang. And that concludes our grade four mini trophy winners. Shall we assemble for our group photo? And let's hear it for our grade four awardees, everyone. All right, thank you so much. And now to our grade five awardees, Miss Pandy, you will stay. Yes. No. Miss, Miss, mm. <laughs> she gets her gift ahead of time. All right. So from Stella Maris Primary School, we have Alex Rainford. And this is in grade five, and he is in 10th position. In ninth place, from Southborough Primary School, we have Nalani Bailey. From Belair Preparatory School, we have Jeduthon Davis, and he is in eighth place. In seventh place, we have Kael Davis from Angels Primary School. In sixth place, we have Blake Wilson from Bright Beginnings Educational Center. In fifth place, from Montego Bay Christian Academy, we have Miles Whittingham. And in fourth place, Bright, from Bright Beginnings Educational Center, we have Malik LV. And that concludes our awardees for mini trophy category from grade five. I invite you now to assemble in the center and we'll take a quick photo. Grade six, get ready.
All right. Grade sixers, it's your time. Top 10 through the four. From the Creative Kids Learning Academy in 10th place, Ms. Pandey, we still have work for you. We have in 10th place, Ethan Cherian. From the Reach Academy, in ninth position, we have Ethan Hines. <laughs> From Hosanna Preparatory, in eighth position, we have Shanae Kelly. And in seventh position from the Creative Kids Learning Academy, we have Chris Sarai Martin. In sixth position from Hosanna Preparator, we have Andre Tu. And from the Bel Air Preparatory, we have Riley Lou in fifth position. In fifth, in fourth position, we have from the Emmanuel Christian Academy, Zane Alexander Reed. So shall we unite for a group photo? That concludes our grade six list. And thank you, Ms. Pandy. Thank you. All right, so let me invite Ms. Terry Thomas Gale. She's the CEO from the Ministry of Education and Youth to assist us in awarding these next recipients who are from grade seven. So we're now gonna be including our Senior Mathematical Olympiad awardees and here we're going to be awarding under the category of mini trophies for grade sevens. Again, they would have ranked in the top 10. We begin with 10th place from Campion College. We have Ronak Shergill. Also from Campion College, we have Naima Williams. All right. From Campion College, we have Noah Radlin. Also from Campion College, we have Zachary Thomas. And he is in seventh place. In sixth place, also from Campion College, we have Rodian Brooks. And in fifth place, Aiden Smith 
from, you guessed it, Campion College. All right, so now it's time for the great, grade eight mini trophy, positions 10 through four. As they unite for a group shot. And all the way from the second city in Montego Bay, from the Herbert Morrison Technical High School in seventh position, we have Sanjay Dixon. In sixth place, also from in sixth place, also from the Herbert Morris Technical High School, we have Nathan Fisher. And in position number five, from the Herbert Morris Technical High School, we have Danielle Gordon. In fourth position, from the Hillel Academy, we have Sebastian Martinez. And that concludes our grade eight category. Shall we assemble for a photo? And thank you also, Mrs. Thomas Gale, for assisting us. I believe we have a token for you. Let's hear it for our students, everyone. <laughs> All right, now to our grade nine awardees. And I'd like to invite our representative from CIBC First Caribbean to assist us in awarding these students. From the Manning School, in 10th place, we have Zara Williams. Also from the Manning School, we have Jabari Barnaby. 
And he is in ninth place. From Immaculate Conception High School in eighth place, we have Jessica McIntosh. And this is Jessica McIntosh from Immaculate Conception High School. From the Manning School, in seventh place, we have Nevino Lewis. And in sixth place, from the Morant Bay High School, Dejanique Hilton. In fifth place, from Campion College, let's hear it for Tori Sr. And in fourth place, from Campion College, Siri Newsom. We'll unite for a group photo, and Miss Renee Whitehorn will stay with us to help us as we hand out the great tens as well. Miss Renee Whitehorn from CIBC. Tenth graders, get ready. Positions 10 through 4. Thank you. All right. Lovely stuff. So, grade 10. In 10th position, we have Cameron Johnson from the Manning School. And next up, from the York Castle High School in Brownstown, St. Anne, Jordan Suarez. In eighth position from the Glenmuir High School, we have Kamari Farkerson. And in sixth place from the Campion College, well, in seventh place, we have Nishke Bedai. In 
In sixth position, also from the Campion College, we have Micah Edwards. And Brownstown, well represented once more with your Castles High School, Deshaun Clark in position number five. Still grade 10, fourth place from the Campion College, we have Austin Johnson. In positions 10 through 4, grade 10 shall unite for a photograph, a group photo. Grade 10, positions 10 through 4. A rare, this is a very rare all male grouping. <laughs> And Ms. Whitehorn from CIBC, we're still asking for your assistance for the next grade, which is grade 11. Thank you so much. These students are true champions. And now to our grade 11 winners. In 10th place from Morant Bay High School, it's Dante James. From Cornwall College, in 9th place, we have Tequan Ellis. In eighth place, from Morant Bay High School, it's Shanice Stewart. From St. Jago High School, we have Ramiro Guya. And Ramiro was ranked seventh place. In sixth place from Campion College, we have Dominic Hazley. And in fifth place, from St. Jago High School, we have Joshua Thompson. And in fourth place, from Glenmuir High School, we have Romario McDonald. And that concludes the list for grade 11 awardees for mini trophy category. We'll assemble for a group photo here. I'd also like to thank Ms. Renee Whitehorn from CIBC for ably handing out these awards. Again, I note we have a group of male awardees. 
We have, uh oh, my bad, I didn't see, I did not see. We have a young lady joining the men. Thank you so much. And Ms. Whitehorn, I think we have a token for you. Yes. All righty, so we have saved the best for last. And now we're gonna go into our top three for all the grade levels. Well, we're gonna to like to ask Mrs. Jacqueline Burrell-Clark to assist us in the delivering these awards. That's our representative from New Fortress Energy, our flagship sponsors. All right, so grade four, top three. In third place, from the St. Hughes Preparatory, it's Jacob Ramdahl. This is no mean feat. Let him hear your applause. Grade four, in second position from the Mandeville Primary, Nathaniel Hines. Grade four, from the Mandeville Primary, Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hines, second place. And now let the bells ring uh, as we announce the number one student from grade four, hailing from Old Harbor Primary, it's Marcus Reed. This is photo worthy. <laughs> Let me invite all our top three winners from grade four to have a group photo. Ladies and gentlemen, these exams are not easy. Let's hear it for our top three awardees from grade four. And I can, I can also add that in grade four, we had 610 participants initially. We are looking at our top three of that number. And now to grade five. 
From Kensington Primary School, in third place, we have Noron Morrison. And in second place, we have Jaden Walker, who is also from Kensington Primary School. And of the 689 participants we had in our qualifying round, our top performer from grade five, she hails from Stella Maris Preparatory School and she's no other than Nalani Rainford. Let's have a group photo of our top three from grade five. Beautiful. So just to inform you that immediately following these proceedings, lunch will be served at the back, and we'll have a meal for you prepared. So as we say in Jamaica, and with something to wash it down as well. So be aware of that. All right, grade six. Out of 916 in the qualifying round initially, we have our top three. Grade sixers from Clarendon Mineral Heights Primary in position number three, we have Ariel Smith. And in position number two, from our Ladies of the Angels Preparatory, we have Joshua Thaxter. All right, so this is grade six, right? Yeah, we have a little anomaly here because we're at grade six, but this young man is actually in grade four. And he has topped grade six. In position number one, it's William Lee from the American International School in Kingston. <laughs> a precocious and prodigious talent indeed. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
So they unite for a photograph. It says something when the trophy is almost as tall as the winner. Beautiful scenes indeed. Lovely stuff. Give them a hand, please. And we also want to thank Mrs. Jacqueline Burrell Clark for assisting us. We have a token for you, ma'am. Receiving a token from none other than our head of department, Department of Mathematics here at the UWI Mona campus, Dr. Mahesha Narayana. And now we'll see our grade seven awardees now to the senior category. And again, we'll be awarding our top three awardees from each year group from grade seven through to 11. So in grade seven, from Campion College, in third place, we have Naju Edwards. And I'll also ask Professor Denzel Williams, who is our principal here at the Mona campus to assist us in giving these awards. Thank you, sir. In third place, that's Naju Edwards. And he's from Campion. In second place, from Campion College, we have Danielle Chin. And in first place, all the way from Montego Bay, from the Herbert Morrison Technical High School, we have Xavier Harrison. Congratulations to our top three awardees from grade seven. And we'll have our usual group photo. All right, as Prof. Denza continues to assist us, we move on to grade eight. In third position from the Herbert Morrison Technical High School, we have Jaden Reed Ingram. And in second position, from the Fairfield International Academy, we have Johan Advani. And 
And in first position, it's female power hailing from the Immaculate Conception High School. We have Joanna Wang. And a group shot to follow. Top three, grade eight. Now to our grade nine awardees. And we'll begin with third place. From Hillel Academy, we have Zinrui Lee. All right, let's hear it for Zinrui. Now in second place, from the Manning School, we have Aubin Lu. And topping the grade nine category from the Manning School, we have Sai Abinav Pidipali. So that's Sai Pidipali from the Manning School. Let's hear it for all our grade nine awardees, or top three. So we have two more grades to go, grades 10 and 11. Prof. Williams, thank you still. In, in third position, grade 10 from Campion College, we have Sail Harris. And in second place, from the American International School of Kingston, we have Paul Van Tilburg. And topping grade 10, no mean feat from Campion College, we have Chad Wright. Thank you. 
Let's hear it for our grade, grade 10 awardees. We'll assemble for our group photo. And we'll move on to the final set of awardees. These are our grade 11s. And then now we acknowledge the top three. All right. So from grade 11, in third place, we have Herbert, from Herbert Morrison Technical High School, we have Jaden Jamari Simpson. And in the second place, from Campion College, let's hear it for Joshua Alexander Walcott. And in first place, topping the grade 11 category, from Fairfield International Academy, we have Honey Advani. Let's hear it for Honey. Group photo. We're almost there. We're moving on to the top three schools next in both the junior as well as senior categories. Professor Denzel William receiving his token. Thank you, sir. All right, so the top three junior schools, and this is based on how the students cumulatively performed. We would have calculated or computed the top three junior as well as senior schools. So in third place, we have the Kensington Primary School. <laughs> Professor, Mike, Professor Michael Taylor will assist us in handing out these awards and a representative from the school is coming forth. That's a Kensington Primary School. Region six. <laughs> Representing. All right. In position number two, top. Three junior schools, we have the Creative Kids Learning Academy. All right. Creative kids, creative indeed, well represented. Region one, I'm hearing. And the top school in the junior segment, based on cumulative performance, we have the Manuel Christian Academy, the number one school in the junior category.
And in like fashion, we'll acknowledge the top three schools in the senior category. And in third place, let's give it up for the Mannings School. Do we have a representative from Mannings? I hear Region 4. And in second place, from Montego Bay, a consistent participant, Herbert Marson Technical High School. And our top performing school for the senior category. Can you guess? Campion College. Do we have a representative from Campion College? Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for all our students, all our teachers, all our schools. Thank you, Professor Taylor, for assisting us. I believe we may have a token for you. All right, now we'll hear uh, a reply on behalf of the students, and we'll be hearing this from Mr. William Lee. Can we have a round of applause for William Lee as he comes? Good afternoon, distinguished guests, teachers, parents, and students. My name is William Lay, and I am from AOC. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I know we've been here for quite some time, but I would like to hear William. So if we could, thank you so much. Go ahead, William. My name is William Lay, and I am from AISK, the American International School of Kingston. It is an honor to be here today, representing all the amazing awardees to give a speech. Today is a truly special day for mathematics in Jamaica. This ceremony isn't just about recognizing our achievements. It's about celebrating our shared love of math and its potential in all of us. Let's face it, math isn't always sunshine and rainbows, but the thrill of discovery makes it far more exciting than, say, counting blades of grass. Although some might argue that's some advanced geometry right there. We, the awardees, are incredibly happy to be acknowledged for the hard work and dedication we've put into the subject. The countless hours we spent grappling with problems have definitely been worth it. However, none of this will be possible without the incredible support system we are fortunate to have. A huge thank you goes to the Jamaican Mathematical Olympiad Committee and the Department of Mathematics. Faculty of Science and Technology of UWE for providing this amazing opportunity. As the great mathematician Euclid once said, there is no royal road to geometry, but the Jamaican Mathematical Olympiad has definitely provided an amazing pathway for, for us to explore this fascinating subject. You've challenged us, helped us discover our talents, and most importantly, shown us that math can be truly epic. 
on behalf of all the recipients of these certificates, medals, and trophies, I want to express our deepest gratitude to the real MVPs, our teachers and parents. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Your unwavering support, your belief in us, and those countless hours of extra help, none of it has gone unnoticed. These awards represent not just our achievements, but your dedication in standing by us every single step of the journey. Additionally, a big thank you to our generous sponsors whose support allowed the Jamaica Mathematical Olympiad to provide this incredible opportunity for students to delve into the fascinating world of mathematics. And lastly, I personally want to extend my gratitude to my school, AISK, and especially my homeroom teacher, Ms. Adam, my math teachers, Ms. Halliman and Ms. Bussey, and my STEM teacher, Ms. McKay. And you can see Ms. Halliman right here. And my dad, Simon, who is also happens to be my math tutor. Thank you all for all the waving support you've given me along the way. Thanks again to everyone who made this possible. This is just the beginning for many of us, and we are excited to see where this love of mathematics takes us all. Thank you for coming today. Thank you so much, William, and we look forward to your continued participation in the Jamaican Mathematical Olympiad. Now, as we wrap things up, I'm going to ask Mr. Horace Donaldson, he will give us the vote of thanks, and he's the Regional Math Coordinator for Region 3. So I ask you to tarry a little bit more as I express gratitude to all those who made this event possible today. Allow me to observe the protocol list before I go through. Moderator, Ms. Francis and Ms. De Asaru. Honorable Marcia Smith, Minister of State and representing the Honorable Fable Williams, Minister of Education. Dr. Kassan Troop, Permanent Secretary, the Minister of Youth and Minister of Education. Mrs. Thomas Gale, Chief Education Officer, Professor Dennis Williams, Pro Vice Chancellor, and Principal of the University of the West Indies, Mona, Professor Michael Taylor, Dean of Math, and Dr. Mahesha, I leave the last name out, Head of Department of Math at UE, JMO title sponsor, Mrs. Jacqueline Borrell Clark from New Fortress Energy. Math Teacher of the Year title sponsor, Ms. Sandra Jones from Jane Bank. National Math Coordinator, Mrs. Simone Williams. CEO, Ms. Dana Facey, who is absent at the moment. DCOs, RDs, SCOs, RMCs, math team members, specialists, and coaches. Principals, awardees for both Math Teacher of the Year competition and Jamaica Math Mathematical Olympiad awardees, teachers and students, it is time to express gratitude for what is now history. I want to thank those who were here taking photographs, so even though it's history, it can be seen again. Many will kick and scream when they hear the word math. But our our vice pro, our principal, vice chancellor, Denzel Williams, and quickly after that, one of our sponsors said something, and I'm going to quote: "To not know math is a severe limitation to understanding the world." Who said that? 
One of our sponsors said that. Who said that? Do you remember? Well, let me remind you. One of our title sponsors from New Fortress Energy, that was Mrs. Borel Clark. And I, I remember that, I will never forget that, and I hope you never forget it. To not know math is a severe limitation to understanding our world. Minister Smith reminds us of the importance of knowing and loving math. So there should be no conflict between our interest and our aptitude for mathematics moving forward. Mrs. Dana Facey, I want to thank her for moderating the Math Teacher of the Year Award section. Now, this event would, would not be held without the national finalists. Can we put our hands together for them? Our regional winners, our national finalists, our runners-up, and the winner for the Math Teacher of the Year, Kamika Ingram. And I'm sure she created the first wave of excitement um, when we were here. I also want to recognize again Ms. Francis and Mr. Asaru, who led the section for the Jamaica Mathematical Olympiad Awards. I want to recognize and thank all grade awardees and your teachers for enabling us to enjoy your performances and the great response that was given from that junior a short while ago. The top three junior and top three senior winners, we want to thank them, the Math Teacher of the Year and Jamaica Math Olympic Committee, both committees, I want to thank you for putting this event together. All photographers who will keep memories of this event. All service providers from the arrangement of the room to the refreshment that has been served and will be served. Again, I want to thank Ms. Francis and Ms. Asaru for entertaining us and allowing this partnership between the University of the West Indies and the Ministry of Education. I'm certain we'll do this again next year. All right, so finally, let's put our hands together for Jamaica National for New Fortress Energy. for First Caribbean National Bank, for the Caribbean Actuarial Association. And let's give the biggest applause for our teachers and our students. Now, Mr. Asaru and Ms. Francis will give the final instructions. I say blessings to you. So we would like to remind the audience that we are currently training a group of students to represent Jamaica in the upcoming um, international Olympiad competitions for the Caribbean and Latin American region. And this competition will be held this summer, and these students are currently in training. We are looking for sponsors to send these students scholars to represent Jamaica. So please feel obliged if it is for a good cause, mathematically speaking. With that said, this has been a, fantax a, a fantastic success, and we look forward to doing this again next year. As you heard before, lunch is being served at the back, so please avail yourselves with a meal. Eat well, ladies and gentlemen, drive well, and we really do hope you get home safely. That's it from us. Good afternoon. <laughs>